Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought we'd have a little chat about winter swimming and how it's slightly different to swimming at other times of the year in that it becomes quite a lot more serious. And with that, I thought I'd talk you through some of my routine, the things that I do before, during and after a swim to make sure that I keep myself safe. Because safety is the name of the game on this one. Now I think we all swim for different reasons um, at different times of the year and even swim to swim. For me today it's about having a bit of a reset, it's been pretty hectic recently and uh, I've got quite a lot on but it's just nice to come out and have some me time out in nature. doesn't look maybe that much out in nature here but there's lots of things for me to look at. There's plenty of bird life, there's a couple of other people out and about doing their thing. I'd say the one thing that is probably in common is that we're not doing it for fitness at this time of year. So if you started outdoor swimming in the summer as part of your fitness routine, I'd say if you want fitness to be, swimming to be part of that fitness thing over the winter, then consider getting yourself into a pool because at this time of year, it's more about the experience. It's not about how long you can stay in or how cold you can take the water. It's just about getting down to the water and, uh, and enjoying it. Um, the key is to get out early enough. Now as the astute amongst you might be able to spot, I'm on a bit of a dropping tide here, so uh, I'll try and keep it quite snappy. The first thing I do before I do any swim is I will take a chance to plan what I'm going to do. So I'll look at the time that I'm available and then the next things I need to check is um, what the state of tide is, if I'm going somewhere tidal. So, um, I know I'm on high water and it's starting to drop at the moment. And I also want to know about the wind direction because the wind direction is key about wind chill, about um, how the water's going to look, how the swim might feel, but most importantly about how it's going to be getting dressed. Believe it or not, today it is actually a little bit windy, um, just not here because of where I've chosen. I'll show you in the little image up here. Uh, I'm down at Ealing and I know that the wind is blowing um, about 10 knots so it's not massive windy um, but it's blowing straight over the top of my head and I don't think it's hitting the well it's not hitting the water for a good 300 meters or so and I won't be getting anywhere near that so that will be pretty comfortable in the water um, so those are the key things that I'm looking for what's the wind going to be doing and uh, how much water have I got the other thing I'd be checking out would be what's gone on with the rain recently um, if it's rained quite a lot, then I would be thinking about what's been flushed in from the side, potentially what has come out from overflows. So it's a good idea to check water quality. But at this time of the year, they're not always updated everywhere around the country. So I tend to just think about it as, has it rained heavily in the last two or three days? And if it hasn't, then I'm fairly happy to get in. What I've got here are the essential pieces of kit that I take with me for each swim, especially in winter. So starting off with visibility, um, I take with me a swim hat or two at this time of year. Two is better than one, keeps your head a bit warmer um, and uh, great for making sure that you're seen. The brighter the better uh, because that is much easier to spot on dark water, especially on a bit of a dank day. Also a tow float, depending on where you are, that can be really useful where I'm next to a little um, uh, boat channel that is uh, especially useful because it makes me much more visible to anyone passing by. Next up is a watch. Doesn't have to be particularly smart but it needs to be waterproof um, and or a phone. Um, I use both for the same thing so it's to time how long I'm in. What I'm doing in the winter is as I said it's just an experience. I need to make sure I don't stay in too long and get carried away with the um, uh, with how I'm enjoying it. So I will tend to stay in for 10 minutes or less uh, on a cold day. Um, and that's what I will do, make sure that I set off my, uh, watch, my watch timer so I know how long I've been going. And if I didn't have one of these, I'm almost certainly gonna have a phone, but it might not be that waterproof. So sticking it inside a waterproof pouch, you can get these from lots of different places. And then this goes inside my tow float. Now the way I know about the timing is I will set an alarm on here for 10 or 12 minutes, depending how much faff it's gonna take me from putting it into the bag to getting into the water. And uh, when that goes off, it's time for me to get out. 
So two good ways to make sure you can keep an eye on how long you are. The other thing you could do, of course, is if you've got a buddy with you and they've got all that kit, or you have someone on the side who can keep an eye on the time and not get distracted by the beautiful views. Uh, another thing that's useful for safety is to have a buddy. Um, and that is either a buddy who's swimming with you in the water, someone who stood on the side, or like I quite often have, a virtual buddy. So I'll use something like the RWA Safe Tracks app and uh, I will set off a, um, uh, I'll start a sail and I then assign one of my friends to be the emergency contact so they can see when I'm in the water and when I'm out. They need to know all about that and they need to know what I'm expecting of them. I made a little video about that, which I'll link in the description below. Um, next up and super important is having something on my feet. Um, and that's especially important for me in the winter, being able to get out anywhere, anytime. If, as soon as I feel like I need to get out, being able to just walk out um, and not be worrying too much about what I'm stepping on. Um, the other thing I could do if I didn't want to wear them in the water is maybe place crocs right on the water's edge so I can get my feet in them and walk up the beach quickly to get to my clothes. And then I use a, a, a towel or a changing robe. Here I've got a changing robe with me um, just to start to protect myself from the, um, from the elements and to get myself dry quickly. And finally on the essential list is having a hot drink with me. Um, this one is hot squash uh, and I've changed that up. I'd be interested to know what you put in yours. I can't stand putting anything with milk in there. So any other, any other ones would be gladly received in the comments below. Now I'm thinking about getting in in a couple of minutes, but I just thought I'd talk about a couple of extra bits that you might want to consider. So as you can see, I've got my two hats on just to make sure, keep the old noggin warm. Uh, but I'm also gonna add into the mix a pair of neoprene gloves because I find it just makes the whole experience that much more pleasant for me. It's not for everybody, but for those of you that are feeling the cold, gloves are quite a good choice. There are plenty of other options of things that you can add too. I do have a wetsuit, um, but today I'm not going in for ever so long and um, I just thought actually I quite fancy a skin swim. So a wetsuit isn't essential in the winter. I have made a video about what to wear for winter swimming and I will pop a link up here or here, I'm not quite sure where it ends up, uh, and in the description below for you to check that one out too. But really it's about what's wearing what is comfortable for yourself and uh, for the kind of swimming you're doing, the amount of exposure, how windy it is, and just making sure that you're keeping yourself safe. Just gonna show you my little bit of prep before I head in and then uh, time for a swim. Before I get in the water, I always make sure that I've got my kit ready to go on, especially when it's cold. So I've got all my stuff stacked up in the order in which I'm going to pop it on, which will make things that much quicker. And my changing robe is inside the tow float, meaning that if I suddenly get cold and I'm not right in front of my clothes, I can hop out, get that on, and walk back to my stuff. Time to go for a swim. Actually, my feet are sinking a bit here. Anyway, time for that reset. As I stand here, I can see the leaves and things flowing past me. So that's telling me that I'm gonna to need to swim that way first. And as I'm getting in, it does feel quite chilly. This is a river flowing out, so it'd be chillier than I'm used to in the sea, which is only, well, actually this, this will be salty, but the salt water will be underneath the brackish water, which is why it feels chilly around my middle. Right. Okay, I've got my watch set to, uh, to record. It's saying it will record distance, but I'm only gonna do breaststroke, so it won't do that. And I'll start the timer as soon as I get in. Whew. Okay, timer's going. As per usual, I'm going to hang here for a minute, which I won't film for you, <laughs> um, but just to get my breath sorted, to minimise the stress on my heart. <sighs> I don't want what turns out, what's a nice Sunday morning dip turn into a Sunday morning epic. <sighs> I can still easily put my feet down. <sighs> so I got in there and had that little drift for a minute and it sent me quite a few meters down tide. So 
as I said, I'm just going to swim into it. And actually, this is a little bit of a workout. Not really more than I expected, but there's certainly a small element of fitness involved here. You can see my kit just on the side there. Just swimming parallel to the beach. And I'm still easily within putting my feet down. I guess I'm about waist deep here. I'm not going to swim out across the opposite side of the channel where those green um, posts are uh, for a number of reasons. I'll be going over the deeper part of the channel, which will mean the water's moving quicker there. And um, it also takes me further away from getting out at any point I please. <laughs> I'm actually swimming on the spot here. Maybe I'll have a little whiz down tide and see how that feels. Oh yeah, if I put in the same amount of effort, I'll fly down. Look how quick I'm going compared to my bag. It's chilly enough to make you sniff. <laughs> but I tell you what, it is making that reset. Look at the smile look on my face, I can't wipe it off. Oops. Right, I've whipped down tide now, better turn around. A bit more ha, into tide exercise. Okay, I've been in half the maximum amount of time I want to be in. So maybe just do that swim up. <laughs> I mean, distance size, it's pathetic. But it's not about that. I want to crack in the kilometres. I'll do it in the pool. So I've got myself nice and dry pretty quickly, um, although not as quick as my previous one. I forgot to time it this time. Uh, you might have seen our previous video. I've got a little challenge called hashtag race to the cake, where you need to get yourself dressed as quickly as possible. And it's to encourage us to do that without dallying. Remember, just like when you're on an aeroplane, make sure that you are clothed and safe yourself before you try to help anybody else. But do keep an eye on your swim buddies and make sure that everyone is um, getting themselves dressed quickly um, so that we can all enjoy a bit of a chat and a warm drink afterwards. Talking of which, I've got my warm drink and uh, I've brought along my little breakfast muffin, which I'm just about to enjoy now super to be able to sit on the side and just look at the water and, and the general goings on while you have your breakfast isn't it something i'm going to do to make sure that i'm thoroughly warmed up before i drive home is to uh, go and take this for a little walk go and do a little bit of litter picking um, and just make sure i've managed to have my whole of my warm drink ready to, uh, to be nice and safe to drive. Well, I hope you've enjoyed joining me for this short little swim this morning and you can kind of get the essence of outdoor swimming in the winter which is for me all about immersing in nature getting a bit of me time and a reset and um, I leave the fitness stuff to other activities if you have enjoyed it please consider hitting the like button dropping me a comment and also subscribing I'd love to have you along and all you have to do is click on my face ding the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out and I'll see you soon bye